Aquarius, this is your end of year 2019 final tarot reading from my channel. And then I'll see you in 2020, with, hopefully with your new readings. It's a new year, new hope. So let's see how this year is ending, what is happening with you, what are you leaving behind, and what have you learned, and what are you going to get coming to you, okay? So for my Aquarians, what's happening, Aquarians? All right, so let's get started. This is for the star sign of Aquarius. So you could be having Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, or Venus. So you have the Four of Pentacles. You have the Six of Swords. You have the Six of Pentacles. And blocking you is the Three of Swords. Okay, heartbroken. So, what I feel Aquarians, firstly is that, you know, in the past, when it came to matters of money, when it came to matters of trust, when it came to matters of having a wider or broader perspective, you were a bit closed off. When, you know, you thought, that's not possible. That's not how you do it. I mean, you were rigid. I see this rigid energy in the past. You refused to change. Maybe you got warnings, you were asked to change or, or situations were giving you all the warnings that you have to change your ways or change some routines or change some people from your life or change the way you work, the way you earn, the way you think, but you are not able to change, okay? This closed off, closed-minded kind of attitude took over. Even in matters of money, you wouldn't spend happily but you would expect money to flow in towards you happily in relationships you wouldn't do things happily but you wanted everybody to be happy around you so you had some blockages i see that in the past now in the present you are kind of coping with it you're coping with it you're trying to go towards more peace at home in family among people in in circumstances you're trying to find more peace within yourself you're trying to move away. For some of you, you're trying to move away from drama. You want a more peaceful life. So you're trying to cut off your tensions, worries, and work towards having a better future. Okay? And what is coming towards you is a better future, by the way. With the Six of Pentacles, this could be a sudden gift. This could be if you have applied for a loan or applied for, you know, some kind of relief or if you have applied for... Uh, even in in, in relationships, if you have invested and you haven't yet got any response from people, or if they haven't be if they have been very closed off and you know they are not talking to you, they will start. You will find reciprocation in relationships. Now, it's not needed only love relationship, even with your children, even with your siblings, even with your friends, and all. The you will find that reciprocation. As much you do, you're going to get back. What is blocking you here? Why you're trying to move away from this? Because because of this, this closed energy, this refusal to, refusal to change, this uh, being skeptical about doing anything, refusing to make the changes in your life, you have dealt with some heartbreak, three of swords. Major, major heartbreak. So you have, it's, it's like three swords in your heart. Come on, you, it's, it's hurt you a lot. So you could have lost a lot of things at one go, you know. So because of this hurt, you're not able to come out of this hurt. This lack mindset is working in you, but I lost this. But I lost this. So this but I lost this keeps repeating in your mind. You're not happy. You're not able to come out. People get heartbroken. People face failures in life, but they move forward. You're not able to move forward. You're continuously thinking about the heartbreak you had. And you're not able to heal and go out from it. Whereas you subconsciously want to move from all that drama. But you don't realize in order to go towards, to move away from all those dramas, the first thing is you have to forget about this drama that happened. This could be very way back in the past. This could be in recent past. But this is definitely a past which has caused you a lot of hurt. But you have to understand in order to move towards positive, more better environment where you get you meet like-minded people and you get 
respect in return, you, you get reciprocation in return, you have to forget your past failures and then move forward. So you cannot be thinking about your past failures and moving forward, okay? So, all right, so that is what your message is for the end of the year, Aquarian. So if there is something that has been blocking you and you realize that it's because of your closed mindset or you were not, you were very conservative in your thought process or you were not open to change, maybe something has hurt you, You've, you still feel the pain, but the thing is you have to move away from the pain in order to see good things coming towards you. So good things, good reciprocation is coming towards you with the Six of Pentacles. You are moving towards all that. So you have to just leave this Three of Swords behind. Forget it. Whatever happened, happened. Just forget it. It will come back if it has to come back. Otherwise, it was never meant for you. So this was a lesson the universe was teaching you. So simply ignore it and move on with your life. Okay? All right, so spirits, two messages for my Aquarians. What messages can we get for Aquarians in this end of year? Two messages for my Aquarians. What two messages, please? Thank you. Two messages for my Aquarians. Ah, thank you, Spirit. So you have Virgo. And your Vesta. Okay. Now, Aquarians. Firstly, maybe you're dealing with a Virgo or you have Virgo in your charts or a Virgo could be important to you or Spirit is asking you to work like or think like a Virgo. Check if you are into astrology. Go open your chart and check where Virgo lies. Which house does Virgo like? Is it your first house, second house, third house? There are 12 houses. It will, Virgo will be one of the houses, okay? So pay attention to that house. Also, the Virgo energy is talks about your duties. It talks about you stop being hesitant. Should I, should I not? Will it give me return? That is overthinking. Will it give me return? Is there any good in it? What have I got till now? So just be humble, don't be Virgo energy is all about humble and Virgo energy is also about being very diligent and very painstakingly, you know, stuck and focused no matter whether it's raining, it's shiny, sunny, it's, it's dry. Virgo energy is all about focus. So you need to do that. If you want to come out of the three of swords, so don't think about you know, you did a lot and nobody got it, you know, caught you when you were in trouble. Or you have done your duties always. Or you have been, you know, you have been always uh, good with people. But you did. sometimes we do that. And that kind of plays a very negative part on, because we are not able to move on. So be like the Virgo. So just be, just keep doing your duty. Stop being hesitant. Be humble and be diligent. Stick to your plan and just keep working. Don't have to know when you're going to get results because that's the universal time. You, I, on anybody doesn't have any control on that. So everything happens for a reason. Understand that. A Virgo energy understands that. Everything is happening. It's happening, whatever it's supposed to happen. But a Virgo continues doing its task doesn't pay attention on what is happening around them. They just focus on what needs to be done and they keep doing it. Okay, so be that energy or you could be dealing with a Virgo. Maybe you need to connect with them. Also, you have the Vesta. And do you know what Vesta means? Vesta is the goddess of cleanliness. Vesta is your goddess inside you. It is your subconscious. It is the moon. So Vesta is where the word vista comes from. Like you use, you, we used to have windows vista, remember? Vista is nothing but the window. So if you see this picture, it shows you this lady with a window in the back and the sun behind it. So this is the time to declutter. Vesta is all about the energy of being sacred, being spiritual, understanding why things have happened with you and why things did not happen the other way acceptance of your spiritual self and Vesta energy also means clean cleaning, starting your life from a clean slate. So Vesta means 
clearing all the clutter. So this is the time you should be clearing out clutter from your life, from your home. If not anything, go clean your windows. But clean something, okay? Declutter your life, declutter your mind and move into 2020 with a fresh mind. All right, Aquarians, this is what I have for you for the last reading of 2019. I'll see you in 2020 with your January readings. Until then, very happy seasons holidays. Merry Christmas to those who are celebrating. And a very, very, very happy new year to all of you. I'll see you later. Bye.